Hi there. This is Esther. I'm a surface designer and illustrator. I love to make art and teach others my process. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the steps for making this graphic in Adobe Illustrator CC. So let's get started by creating a rectangle. Just press M on your keyboard and start dragging. And then press A to switch to direct selection tool. As you will see, we have this little circle thing over here to indicate that we can round our corners. If you just drag those inward, you will see all four corners are being rounded. You can also just select one of them instead of all four and just round that particular corner. In this case, we're going to do all four. So I'm going to reselect all four and round the corners over here. You might say, hmm, this doesn't look exactly like a raffle ticket. Fear not. Just come over to the top and click on the corners widget and select the second selection, which is called inverted round. And this looks much better. You can still adjust the radius if you have any particular radius that you're working with. For example, um, 40 it's still live and you, it's still adjustable. I'm going to go with 70. And if you want the corners to be chiseled, you can click on the third option. But in this case, we're going to stick with the second. And so that's our outline of our raffle ticket. As you see in our example, we do want to have a little inner outline that is the same distance from the this basic shape. We can achieve that by coming over to object, path, and offset path. So you want to make sure you turn on the preview so that you can see the live result. It's been highlighted. Basically, you change the offset number. If it's smaller than zero, the result will be smaller. If it is bigger than zero, for example, let's do 80, the result is bigger. So in this case, we're going to go with smaller than zero, maybe negative 40. And it will actually create another shape that is on top of the original one. You can't really tell the difference because they're of the same color. So I'm just going to double click to create a lighter color. You can see that's our new shape. In this case, we just want the outline instead of fill color. So I'm going to switch the position of my fill color and outline stroke. Shift X. And I also want to increase the size a little bit. Maybe four point. And if you do notice how two raffle tickets connect, they have this little perforated edge. So we're going to do that next. So just click on L to select your ellipse tool to make a perfect circle. Hold down to shift key to make a perfect circle. And so shift X to switch the fill and the stroke color. Because in this case, I do want the circle to have fill color. Let me just give it a stronger contrast so you can see better. So while you're dragging, Hold down to Option key so you are making an exact copy. And hold down to Shift key if you want it to be perfectly vertical. And once you make that copy, just keep pressing Command D to repeat that option until we have a good collection of it. And we want to place it on top. It seems to be a little bit big, so I'm going to resize it by using E. Great. And I do want the other side to have the same treatment. Great. So now we do want to select all the dots and our brown background so that we can make a compound shape. 
If you want to select multiple object, you want to hold down to shift key while clicking and come over to window and pathfinder. If you use this a lot, like me, you can just drag and drop so you can stack your frequently used tool to the sides. It's easier to reference. And then click on the second option, which is minus front. This will give us a perforated edge. As you will see, the little inner line has disappeared. That's because when we did the compound action, it has brought the new shape up to the very top. So all we need to do is to arrange it all the way to the back. The keyboard shortcut is command shift left bracket. So now we have our little outline back. If you want to add some extra words, you can press M for the rectangle. In this case, I'm going to make some dotted lines. I do want to sample the width of this inner outline here. So we're consistent. And I do want to bring out my stroke. Or you can also access that at the very top by clicking on the by clicking on the stroke panel. And you can also access that at the very top by clicking on the stroke panel. And you want to check the dashed line. So you will have a different option. You can change the gap and the type of the cap. So I like it to be a little bit rounder, maybe a little bit, the gap to be a little bit wider as well. So you can do that by pressing up and down arrow. Okay, I'm happy with this. And you can add a number over there or put whatever text. For example, just press T and you will have the text tool. I'm going to do a random number, maybe too long. All right. And I want to select my text and make it lighter and click escape and E to free transform. I'm holding down shift key so that my angle will be constrained to multiples of 45. That just makes things look really clean. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by pressing command shift and period. And I do want to adjust the position a little bit. And you can make your ticket say whatever you want. It's your design anyways. I'm just going to be boring and say raffle ticket. Command shift period to make it bigger. And you can change the color and alignment. So if you want to recolor your any portion of your design, just select that portion and click on the color wheel. And as long as you have color groups in your swatches panel, you can cycle through that. So I'm going to go with the first one and just click on it. I'm happy with this bright color because it, it's very contrasty. I'm just going to click OK and yes. So here is our little ticket. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to grow your design and illustration skills, I would love for you to check out my Skillshare classes where I teach my design process in depth. In the description box, you will find a link that will give you two months for free.